the good days, here's to the sorrows. If this is a mistake, I know about tomorrow. Okay, you guys, so here is the rest of my haul. I showed you the meat part of it, and now I'm going to show you this part. Um, I don't have my table my countertop in here yet he hasn't built that yet so i'm doing it with everything on the floor and i'll just grab it and put it on the shelf because i told you what i needed to do was just fill in the gaps i think i'm pretty good with what i need i'm just filling in the gaps i also decided to get some more toilet paper paper towels and y'all i've been craving if you didn't know this about me these right here are my favorite. So I couldn't find any, um, but I, I just went ahead on and got that box, that mixed box. So let's go over what I have here. I will put the prices, if I can remember, when I edit to put the prices in with it, because I know a lot of you guys want to know how much it is. And we probably should keep track of that because <clears throat> all of this stuff has gone up honestly whether it's by pennies or by dollars so we have my cookie monster i told y'all my husband is a cookie monster but now he's telling our youngest child that i put these in the cart i did not i didn't even know they were there he got chips ahoy and then oreos he is a definite cookie monster and then over here we got some simply lemonade apple juice because that's what my youngest child likes to drink don't forget to get your feminine products your soaps your toothpaste and all that stuff i'm gonna i still have more shopping to do but not for food just for like those items as well as more vitamins and things of that nature so i got some lip balm my husband's soaps my youngest child's soap i'd already bought mine and conditioner because we ran out and then and this conditioner i can tell you what this is ten dollars this is ten dollars but it's always been high for shea moisture um feminine product epsom salt because i'm gonna soak in a tub because this haul and some advil this haul was a lot i'm glad my husband went with me um over here i needed four of these and that's what i got they had it and i almost forgot it. my husband's like you want to get some of those i was like oh yeah because i made a list but it wasn't on my list i got some more minced garlic which i already have some upstairs so this will this will all go on these shelves down here except for like the bread that's going in the freezer the creamers going in the refrigerator and i think that's it everything else is going on the shelf and i still got to get another bucket to put my rice in plus the sugar i just bought so we have some granulated sugar here and that is a oh i can't even tell i think it's a five pound bag i don't even see it on there and then we have all-purpose flour. I bought two more of those. When you buy flour, if you're storing it, put it in your freezer for at least 24 to, well, the, I leave mine in there for like 72 hours, honestly. You can leave it in there longer. It's up to you. You just want to kill off the weevils the evil weevils you want to kill the evil weevils off those are the little black bugs that form into the uh flower just from processing it then i got light brown sugar they didn't have any dark brown sugar so i got two bags of that that'll go down here because I, I just put one upstairs in the working pantry then i got the cornstarch here that came from Sam's, um, the soaps and Epsom salt, the feminine product, the apple juice. All of this stuff came from Sam's. You see, I'm wearing my boot. My foot is hurting. The Doritos back there, my husband's. 
Well, they probably all of us really. That came from Walmart. Then in the back you have the Cinnamon Toast Crunch and the Red Berries from Walmart. I bought four of these salt because they haven't been having any, but they had salt. So I was like, grab four. And I got this brand because the Morton's wasn't that high. It was like a dollar and something. But these were 48 cents. I remember that. And this is 26 fluid ounces, one pound of salt for 48 cents. You can't beat that. Some more pepper. And then some steak and chop. Seasoning. Oh. And I got the lemon pepper seasoning that came from Sam's as well as this. But the salt and the pepper came from Walmart. Over here, I have one, two, three, four, five of the spaghetti sauces. But two are ragu. And then these are the generic brand. And the generic brand is cheaper, but this is all they had. Y'all, everybody's getting the, the cheap stuff. And you're going to be left spinning which this small bottle was only maybe a dollar eighty or something. I don't know. I had to stock back up on these because I didn't have any more. I love these right here. This is all barbecue sauce. Not all the same. This is Hawaiian. I haven't tried it, so I only got one to see if I like it. Sweet brown sugar and sweet honey. Over here, we got sesame seed oil for when I do my fried rice. Then we have some shampoo and conditioner. That's for my husband. Why is that over here? Baker's Joy. One will go upstairs and one will stay down here. <clears throat> they only had three. So I just got two. That way somebody else can grab the other one. Um, olive... Oh, that's my husband's Olive Garden Italian Signature. Two of the sour creams, which will go upstairs, of course. I got five elbow macaroni noodles right here. Then I also have the mac and cheese, five in a box right there for four something. Two of the ramen noodles. I only got two of these because they didn't have my flavors. So I'll check back later because I need to stop back up on those. Those only cost like a dollar and some change. But that change is up. Okay. Because I'm going to tell you what our budget was and what we went over with. Um, the Ruffles. I got these from Sam's Club. This oil is now, I think, $11, my husband said. It was $10 the last time I bought some. So now it's $11, but I'll check and I'll put it in here for you. Uh, some creamer, caramel. Then we have the bread that I have to freeze. And then last but not least, I guess I should move my bags out the way so you can see. See, these are my all my buckets and this is rice see how i got it labeled right there and dated at the top and that's this is sugar more rice right there and this is rice a different kind okay so i don't have to buy any more rice palms they were i didn't take a lot of pictures in sam's club because honestly they weren't real short and but they were really crowded so where they were short at i tried to snap a few pictures but i really couldn't i mean once we rung up you guys and i'll add those to this little pile over here so once we um oh i look a hot mess but anyway y'all once we um once we were up there ringing up the lady came up and she was like, I don't know what's going on. I mean, I'm used to it being crowded, but it's crowded as if it's Christmas time. Y'all, Biden already made that statement. 
everybody's going to be touched by the food shortages. That statement he made just the other day. I think a lot of people heard him. And that store, it was hard to find a parking spot. The Everything was just crowded. It was more crowded than the Walmart, even though Walmart was crowded too. But the lines weren't that bad. But we did wait for a good 20 minutes to ring up, almost in Walmart and then in Sam's Club, probably another 20 minutes. So yeah, but y'all get your stuff. Get your stuff, get your stuff as much as you can, when you can, every time you go out, maybe just grab a bottle here, a can there, or two cans here, two bottles there, whatever it is you have to do. My bread, I'm throwing it in the freezer. The ones that I don't need out will go in the freezer. Um, I have yeast. I have this yeast right here with my baking stuff. And I have yeast upstairs in my working pantry. So I didn't get any more yeast. But I will be when we go back. We already said we're going to get another thing of toilet paper and paper towels. We're going to get our laundry detergent. I'm going to grab some more yeast. And if I see anywhere in here that needs to be um, picked up like the salmon cans of salmon I'll grab one of those um, but we were on a budget you guys um, we were going to do $300 period all in and we were going to split it I was going to do $150 he was going to do $150 right so we both have money in our pocket that's how we do it sometimes and uh this stuff, Walmart came to 200 and something dollars. Sam's Club came to 100 and something dollars. So we went over a little bit. So y'all continue to stockpile your food. Don't be discouraged if you don't have everything you need right now. You have some time to do it. But I promise you that time, I'm not going to say it's going to run out, but the prices are going to shoot up so high that you're not going to be able to afford everything you might want to get because i wanted to get some more stuff honestly but this is all i could get plus the meats upstairs that i just showed you so i'll see y'all in the next video thanks for watching remember if you have not subscribed we would love for you to join our family over here let's grow together let's learn together let's love together let's do all that stuff together leave me some comments down below let me know if you're seeing shortages in your area, if your stores are now stocked, because that's a good thing. If the stores can get stocked up so everybody can get what they need, because if the stores remain short, then it's going to be some people that's going to go without. And I promise you, it's not going to be my family. All right. Bye, y'all. I love you, but God truly loves you more. He created only one you, so be the best you that you can be. And when you are... Go out and spread God's love with distance if you have to. Or if you want to give somebody a hug because they might need it, go ahead and tell, tell somebody you know that you love them because maybe they didn't hear that today. So I love you if you haven't heard it, if no one told you. I forgot. We also got two of the parm cheese as well. I don't know why my husband got this. He's like, I want to try it. I'm like, you're going to waste your money. You're going to taste it and be like, I don't want it. But anyway, neither here nor there. I'm whispering while I say it because he down here with me, y'all. Oh, and the other day, I, I don't know if I showed y'all. I had all of that uh, broth and stuff over there.